at Gavin Old, we are a archaeology site slash museum slash community event space, a sort of burgeoning free community heritage centre in the middle of Industrial Govan. On first inspection, if you don't know much about the history of the place, it has a tendency to maybe feel like it's just a room full of old stones, but there's lots of secrets there to be uncovered. We churchyard right in the middle of Govan might look like a normal wee graveyard you'd see anywhere in Scotland. But archaeological investigation has revealed it to be one of the most important archaeology sites in the UK. We at the Govan Stones have been thinking for a while about how to get local people excited about the heritage of this place and the untold story of their local area. And we came up with a project titled My Historic Neighbourhood to get the kids and local people of all ages hopefully excited to think about uh, is Govan an important place? Who gets to decide if a place is important? We approached a few different local groups, two primary school classes from Riverside Primary and St Saviour's and also a brilliant local theatre and movement group called Loop Theatre who uh, provide activities for adults with learning disabilities. And together, between the, the four groups and brilliant filmmakers and drama coordinators, historians, archeologists, lots of different people, we had a programme of really colourful, vibrant heritage activity. They were excited about the idea of before Scotland, hadn't really occurred to them there was a before Scotland and when that sunk in they learned that before Scotland there was Govan and it was right at the heart of the kingdom that ruled for hundreds and hundreds of miles in every direction. Not only that, right on their doorstep is the royal burial site of that lost kingdom where all of the material evidence is just sitting there waiting to be discovered. We wanted to develop a programme of activity that would let the kids delve a bit deeper and become creators and storytellers in their own right. And what they found when they got here were a collection of world-class monuments, early medieval sculpture that you don't happen across very often in world heritage. Every new fact, when it was couched in that sort of narrative, You've got the Lost Kingdom is here to be found. The kids were getting really excited about every new element that they heard about. Like a hundred years. It's really a strong ago. For how long is it? Can I just vote me? We have a lot of people that have ancient things. It was a bit of co-creation. At the start, we asked the, the kids what they might like to get involved in and by what means they'd like to tell the stories that they were learning about Govan. And in the wake of that, we now have a Govan Stones TikTok mafia that's about, you know, a hundred local ten-year-olds that <laughs> are just incessantly making TikTok content to help us tell the story of Govan heritage to totally new audiences. And the feedback we got from the kids is that they're excited to come back uh, and get involved in future activities at Govan Old which is not bad for something that might have been perceived as a room full of old stones before the kids engaged. Loop Theatre as well, they were building towards a glorious Govan Gala Day. It was going to be their first event performance in Govan. And when we heard about that, it was as the idea for my historic neighbourhood from the Govan Stones was sort of brewing. It was the perfect time for us to link up and collaborate. And we got to share expertise, their brilliant expertise in drama and movement and storytelling, working with audiences with learning disabilities. This is an area that we haven't built too much expertise in at the Govan Stones before. 
and with their mission to learn more about the heritage of Govan ahead of their event, they were excited to tap into our heritage. But it really was this useful sort of knowledge transfer. The guys from Loop Theatre were teaching the Govan Stones volunteers how to sign using Makaton and lots of different styles of communication that we can use to widen our remit and be more accessible. And then we were able to bang on about the Vikings and really give them some oomph behind the performances they were going to have to tell the story of Govan heritage. Oh yeah, the, the, uh, the My Historic Neighbourhood project sounds really exciting because it's, it's one way to engage people with the spaces they live in around. Not everybody is aware of just how important, you know, sites like Govan are or wherever it is you live, you know. There's often a lot of people, things on the street just aren't aware are there or happened in the past. But I think there can be some overarching cultural messages it's hard to avoid. It's hard to avoid hearing about a certain view of what Govan is like and people from Govan are like, a really outdated view. Um, and we wanted to give a chance to really think about is Govan an important place, beside, away from those me that messaging, that sort of lazy messaging that you can hear about Govan. What is this place to you? And let's find the exciting parts of living here and let's tell the story. Well, it was the first time we tried anything like that, really, and it was a bigger prospect than we ever thought it was going to be. It was a real sort of learning curve and slightly chaotic at times. Um, so I think it's taught us a lot about just how much effort goes in to these projects so that you're making sure that when it comes to the time of engagement, when groups are coming in, they are it's prepared for them to be excited and really get involved but it's also got us really excited about doing more in the same vein and also attempting bigger and even more ambitious things in future. Thank you.